In a short video, we cannot demonstrate the entire interface, but we'll look at two typical innovations that form part of it. The first is called LEAP. LEAP is an inexpensive technology that brings many benefits to its users. Most of the time spent at a computer or terminal is devoted to data entry and editing. Just as we've gone from cursor control keys to the mouse in the past few years, watch as we now move from the mouse to leap. Oops. That phrase should be enterprise computing. How will our types correct it? The first step is to move the cursor to the error. Moving the cursor is one of the most frequent operations performed in using a computer. So any improvement here can significantly increase productivity. Cursor control keys, the most universally used method, typically repeat 10 times a second after a half second delay. It takes four and a half seconds just to get halfway across a standard 80 character line. Let's watch our typist move to the error using cursor control keys. User testing has shown that the average time to move the cursor between two randomly chosen locations on a standard display is about seven seconds. Users soon learn that they can speed the process with special commands for moving the cursor to ends of lines by typing words and other ways. But these added commands are hard to learn and increase the user's mental effort. Now, our typist will get to the error using the mouse. Oops. This took nearly three seconds. The mouse is not only faster, but the number of commands and techniques the user has to learn is smaller. Our typist will now find the error using leap. Oops. With leap, the average move takes about one and a half seconds. This move took less than one second. In many experiments, leap has been shown to be uniformly faster than any other cursor moving technique. Let's compare how long it took our typist to move to the error using cursor keys, the mouse, and leap. In tests with both beginners and very experienced users, leap is the clear winner. And unlike the mouse, it does not annoy experienced typists by making them remove their hands from the keyboard. Here's how leap works. The two leap keys are positioned beneath or alongside the space bar where they can be easily operated with the thumb. The thumbs are underutilized in typing, so using them for leap does not interfere with normal typing skills. While the leap key is held, typing causes the cursor to jump to the nearest instance of whatever the operator types. This happens in less than human reaction time, so that leaping feels instantaneous, even with text files the size of a novel or larger. In short distance moves, cursor keys turn out to be faster than the mouse because of the time it takes the operator to move her hand between the mouse and the keyboard. But leap is even faster. Let's watch our typist fix the error using leap. The operator leaps to the end of the word to be moved, selects it, and instantly moves it. Selection works on whatever was most recently leaped over. Once something is selected, there's no need to cut and paste as with ordinary systems. The operator merely leaps the selected text into the desired position. This operation took two seconds. Now our typist will fix the error using a desktop style interface. The Macintosh, generally considered one of today's best interfaces, requires about seven seconds to do the same operation once you've learned the keyboard shortcuts being used here. A cursor control key system can be even slower. Compared to command-driven systems, Leap can eliminate dozens of commands while it improves user productivity. This easy-to-learn method of doing edits where menus are used is just too slow for professional use. In practice, the menu-driven interfaces become very similar to the old hard-to-learn command line systems. Even recognizing the real advances these systems provide, a lot of time and training is still required for users to become efficient with them. 
leap is easiest and fastest for both beginners and experts. Leap is also an effective information search and retrieval mechanism. Once the target of a cursor move is off page, both mouse motion and cursor control keys require scroll bars or special commands. The use of these methods must be understood and mastered separately from cursor moving. In situations like this, Leap's value increases because it's much more powerful than a mere cursor motion device. Come in. Hi, Aviva. Hey, Jerry. What's Pratt Mover's phone number? It's 555-71. Thanks. Sure. Jerry did not have to leave the word processor to do his search. Leap makes all applications instantly and seamlessly available, unlike desktop metaphor computers. Leap can move you instantly between documents, databases, and spreadsheets, and back again without interrupting the flow of work. It's much faster and easier than opening and closing windows, looking up file names, and pulling down menus. Leap alone is a great leap forward in itself, if you'll pardon the expression. But together with other new concepts, it can be the cornerstone of an exciting new interface that will surpass the best that can be achieved with today's desktop model of computing. Here's an example of a second innovation from this new interface. In today's systems, each application is a separate world. With this new interface, the user never has to learn about applications, operating systems, or desktops. Watch how quickly Jerry can do spreadsheet operations in his letter without ever having to use a spreadsheet program. Come in. Hey, Jerry, in that letter, would you add up all the totals? Sure. Great. And uh, let's show the average tax rate. Sure. Anything else you need? Uh, oh, yeah, that 7.2% uh, tax should be 7.5. Uh, yes, you're right. Jerry leaps to 7.2, erases the 2, and types in the missing 5. With the press of a key, the entire table is corrected. Remember, that chart was not made with a spreadsheet program. It can be modified on the fly as new information becomes available. All the complications of having to learn how to operate and link application programs are gone. And yet all the abilities that make computers so valuable have been retained. Leap and this interface were invented by Jeff Raskin, who created the Macintosh project at Apple Computer. The Macintosh demonstrated that a product based on an improved human interface can be extremely profitable. Jeff also designed the Canon Cap, which showed the power of Raskin's newer interface concepts and which proved that users love to leap. Let's hear from a longtime cat user, David Wing, a photographer from San Diego. Well, leap is a wonderful thing. Uh, once you understand how that works and once you understand how you can move the cursor, that allows you access to a lot of the machine's features. Once you learn how to move the cursor, you know how to edit text, how to print, how to send, uh, how to find things instantly. Uh, it's very easy to learn how to use. It's very difficult to forget how to use. It's simple. It's consistent. It's logical. And it makes sense. Even user-friendly systems like the Mac or Windows machines put a layer of the system over your work. And I think that users should be able to get into their own minds and do their own work without having to look at everything through this layer and deal with this layer as they're making decisions about what they want to do. Other users and critics have this to say. decade, we've gone from exclusive use of cursor control keys in complex systems that only experts could understand, 
through graphic input devices in systems that, while simpler, still require too much training and knowledge to use. Someday, today's inefficient Windows-style interfaces will be replaced. We can create a change for the better that will be as important and revolutionary as was the introduction of graphic interfaces.